Hey, how y'all doing today? Hope everybody's doing okay. Thanks for clicking on my video. I appreciate you very much. So, uh, whew, I'm still in DIA, and uh, hopefully my flight is gonna leave. Attention in the terminals, physical services of American Airlines, for all passengers on flight 896, Denver to Dallas. They keep on pushing my flight, flight back an hour. Like every hour, I get, a, I get an email saying, uh, flight delayed an hour, flight delayed an hour. But, you know, I'm trusting that it's gonna fly out. And uh, you know, I was I was going to go to Alaska, but my daughter kind of like talked me out of it. She's like, "Dad, no, you don't need to do that. Just go back south." You know, she knows that. Uh, you know, if you're from the south, you, most most of us don't like the cold and the snow. Like we can't handle it. We just don't. We can't drive in it. We can't function in it. And it like snowed. I've never seen that much snow in my life here in Denver. But uh, my flight leaves in an hour, and I head to Seattle. And then there, I'm gonna just like make a decision on where to go. Uh, you know, I'm freaking homeless, man. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I'm freaking homeless, living in a uh, living in airports. So. Uh, do sometimes and I was like but I think I'm just gonna head down through California to warmer weather because like in Florida I was living outside man like first time in my life I can't I can't believe uh, I was living outside and I can't live outside here so I go into places that are highly secure and uh, being targeted, like, I mean, airports to me is one of the safest places besides a military base uh, that I can go and uh, get past the security checkpoints, uh, get a boarding pass, and, uh, and just, I don't know, like, everybody is on their own journey in life. And I, I'm not sure how I exactly even got into this position in the first place, but uh, I know it has to do with targeting and, um, and, and mental illness. I mean, I do suffer from, I'll be honest, I do suffer from mental illness and I'm not ashamed to say that. I used to be ashamed to say it, but I'm, I'm not ashamed to say it anymore. Um, so it is what it is and everyone's on, on their own journey in life and people will judge you. They think they know you or your situation. This is from Avon for Sisters, so, Avon for Sisters, the last and final boarding call for Frontier Flight 775 for Las Vegas. I don't know. I mean, I keep I keep on trying to get out of this flight and like, uh, like, get on another flight, go here, go there, and I saw everybody like panicking on the phone, texting, trying to get a different flight. We gotta get out of here. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna stay still. Trust God. Stay still. And um, <laughs> because to me, it's like. If you're stuck in an airport for a couple of days and you're safe, so be it. And your family members can see you again, and then you're safe. Just stay still, man. Just stay still. That's all. I just calm down. I saw people freaking panicking, man, trying to get rental cars and uh, do all this stuff. And uh, the funny thing is, the rental car agencies said you can. They made a pilot. They made. I don't know. They were. They were. They were letting people rent rent cars, but then they were saying that you had to bring them back to this location. <laughs> I've never heard of rental car companies doing that, but uh, <laughs> I don't know why they did that. Man. <laughs> so people were like, "What the hell? What's going on here?" Like, and then and then finally people just started leaving. Uh, I don't know on buses and stuff like that, but. I don't know, man. Like, sometimes I think stuff's going on. I'm like, man. And then I just have to, like, pray to God and say, look, <laughs> clear my head because I don't understand. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to go to Alaska. I really did. Well, my daughter's like, Dad, no, please, no. And so she's like, just go as far as Seattle, go experience that. And then, Dad, you need to go 
where it's warmer. You're getting too old. My daughter just loves me so much. And I do, you know, she's a 20 year old kid. Well, she's my, she's a grown woman now, but she's still my little girl. So I do take advice from her and listen to her. And uh, she's saying that if I go to Alaska, I won't come back. And I was gonna go just like seek out some government land and find an old cabin that's not that's like abandoned just to clear my head, you know? Because uh, it's uh, I just want peace, like peace. But you know what? You know what the weird thing is? I'm slowly coming into peace, even though there's everybody around me. And I'm slowly just not caring what other people think. Because I know that we're all on our own journey in this life. We're all on our own journey. So people can judge you and you know, think you need to do this or that, or, they, or, or people think they know what's best for you. That's, that's, that's what really gets me sometimes. People think they know what's good for you. When you just have to go inside into your heart and ask yourself, ask the universe, ask God, please, I can't do this by myself. Uh, there is a higher power up there guiding everybody. I found that out a lot uh, being trapped in this airport. And not really trapped, I mean, I could have left, I could have gone on a bus or a train, I went into Denver, but then again I'm targeted, and I, I tried to, I, I went across the other terminal a couple of times, and I'm like, alright, there's zombies everywhere, and aliens too, so, hey, you know what, I gotta go, more later.